All right, peace, y'all. Uh, so this is going to be a short video, um, and it's about Peloton. Peloton is trying to rebrand itself. Uh, now it says six dollars and <clears throat> like eighty three cents a share. So I think uh, the restructuring, the rebranding that they're doing, I think this could be potentially a good, a good, um, a good idea. Um, and it could, you know, help catapult them a little bit to where, uh, I know that they're, they're, uh, expanding themselves to the customer at large or consumer at large. So, um, I'm going to read this CNBC article and it says, uh, Peloton aims to rebrand as a fitness company for all with focus on app tiered subscription pricing. Um, so I'm gonna read the article and then I'm gonna let the video play and then uh share a little commentary and then I'm gonna get out of y'all here. All right, so it says key points Peloton unveiled a new marketing strategy designed to capture a new customer base. The company is introducing a new tiered pricing structure for its digital app that includes a free membership option. Bingo. We're now leading in for the first time to the, to the idea that, okay, not everyone is going to bring premium Peloton hardware into their home. Tom Cortez, Peloton's, Peloton's co-founder and chief product officer, told CNBC. When Peloton unveiled its 2019 holiday commercial depicting a husband who gifted his wife a stationary bike for Christmas, the ad was widely panned as sexist, dystopian, and reminiscent of a hostage video. People took umbrage at the commercial's characters, a white upper middle class family, and said it sent a range of dangerous mess messages about everything from gender norms to body dysmorphia. While the controversy eventually faded from the headlines, the public remembered the ad solidified Peloton's nascent identity as a high end bike company reserved for a certain type of person at a certain income level. Now the company is ready to change that perception. Peloton on Tuesday is launching a new marketing campaign that builds the retailer as a company for anyone, regardless of age, fitness level, and income, or whether they shelled out thousands for a pricey PC, pricey piece of equipment. The brand relaunch comes a little over a year into Barry McCarthy's tenure as CEO. He has worked to transform Peloton from a hardware-focused company into one that's just as invested in, in its app and the high-margin subscription revenue that it brings. Since McCarthy, a former Netflix and Spotify executive, replaced founder John Foley in February 2022, the company has been on the defense. It has worked to rein in its gargaton costs, remedy recalls, and find new revenue streams as demand for its connected fitness products slowed and consumers became more cautious about their discretionary spending. While the company has yet to return to profitability, it has managed to stop the bleeding. With a new marketing chief at the helm, Peloton says it's ready to reintroduce itself to the world and shed the image the holiday ads seared into some minds. We know that the perception externally does not match the reality of who we are, Peloton's chief marketing officer, Leslie Berlin, who started with the company in January and led the relaunch, told CNBC in an interview. This company historically has been thought of as an in-home bike company for fitness enthusiasts, but over the years, it has evolved into something that is much more bigger, much more broader than that. Uh, Peloton focuses on the app. The relaunch comes along with a new tiered app strategy that includes an unlimited free membership option with no credit card required and levels that cost $12.99 and $24 monthly. The content people will have access to varies by the level, and in some cases, Legacy users will have less access come December when a grace period ends. Currently, people who pay $12.99 a month to use the Peloton app can do a bike class every day, but in December, they'll only be able to do three per month. The relaunch includes a gym function that allows users to take Peloton's app into the gym with them and create custom workouts. Peloton is also saying goodbye to its trademark fire engine red weight. Peloton is also saying goodbye to its trademark fire engine red and black colors, 
in favor of a new mix of hues. It says better captures the energy of a workout and the afterglow that comes. New branding materials include shades of purple, pink, green, and a lighter red. In a splashy 90-second marketing video shared with CNBC, Peloton's app takes center stage. It shows people of all shapes, sizes, fitness abilities, and ages using it to take <clears throat> using it to take strength in yoga classes at home, but also in gyms, which have long been considered a threat to Peloton's business. While Peloton features its bike, tread, and roll machines in the clip, it does not show the hardware until about 30 seconds into the video. And, you know, if you guys want to see that, y'all can just go to YouTube. Um, the message is a far cry from Peloton's earlier commercials and marketing materials, which predominantly feature ultra-fit athletes using this equipment. We're now leaning in for the first time to the idea that, okay, not everyone is going to bring premium Peloton hardware into their home. Tom Cortese, Peloton's co-founder and chief product officer, told CNBC in an interview. Our members have a phone. We're on their phone. They take their phone where they want to go. And if you want to put the Peloton app on someone, someone else's hardware, that's fine. And if you want to bring it into someone else's gym, that's great. Peloton insisted that the focus on selling subscriptions does not mean it has abandoned its hardware business and said the company is on a dual track with both. The new campaign focuses on the app because there's been so little advertising of it and market research shows just 4% of consumers know about it, the company said. When we first started coming out of COVID and the press likes to be tough on Peloton, it was everyone going back to the gyms, but we know that our members were using our products in the gym, said Jennifer Cotter, Peloton's chief content officer. She pointed out that Peloton strength training content, not as cycling or running classes, is the number one type of class for digital members and the number two among those who have Peloton hardware. It shows how eager users are to consume Peloton content has to do with this equipment. When it comes to this initiative, we're just excited that number one, our members will feel reflected and new members will feel like Peloton is for them, said Cotter. And then, you know, the tiering structure allows us to welcome people up the ramp. Rihanna Desario, 32, has been a Peloton member since the early days of the pandemic. She said the brand's competitive and aspirational appeal originally led her to buy a bike. When briefed about the company's new marketing strategy, she showed CNBC she, she supports the move and is focused on being inclusive. But she said there's a chance making Peloton accessible to everyone could dilute its brand. It's kind of like a club, and now everyone's coming into the club, said the serial. Birdland Peloton's new marketing chief isn't concerned about the brand losing strength. She said the new marketing strategy reflects what the company already is. Our members, our instructors, our classes, our content. That is unchanged. The company has evolved to all of this, said Birdland. It's time for the brand and the marketing to represent all of that and all of its vibrancy. Liz Coddington, Peloton's chief financial officer, said creating different points of entry to the company's content will set it up for long-term growth. What we're doing is we are opening up the total addressable market to Peloton to people who may not have considered us in the past because we weren't really speaking to them, said Coddington. The real goal truly is to just to bring more people into the ecosystem of Peloton, however they want to come in and then help them on their journey and how they want to consume our content over time whether it's through the free option through the lower tier or through the higher tier or eventually buying or renting our hardware she said the company has not incorporated potential upside from the app and marketing strategy into its financial outlook it says some paid app members will likely downgrade to the free membership option in the past churn rates have briefly spiked when Peloton changed prices, but soon returned to typical levels, she said. We are optimistic about it, said Connington, but it's hard to know until we know. All right, so that's the article. I'm going to play um, the video, um, and y'all can just listen to it. One second. 
these ads off of here. Welcome back. Peloton announcing the start of a new chapter today, relaunching the brand from an in-home bike company to a fitness brand for all. CNBC.com reporting along with the new mantra, Peloton will be introducing a new tiered pricing structure for its app, including a free option for users and a new feature called Peloton Gym. Peloton shares are down 8% in 2023 and of course, so fell almost half the previous year. To discuss, let's welcome in the writer behind this piece, retail reporter Gabrielle Fonrouge. Welcome. Thanks so much for having me. So juicy. I mean, we all follow the Peloton saga trying to figure out what we would do, right? Yeah. <laughs> In the same situation. Mm -hmm. I don't know about this move. What, what is their attempt? What is their intent here? You know, Peloton has long been reserved for a very specific type of person, and they've always marketed the company in that way. This, in their eyes, is going to open up a whole new total addressable market for them. They're hoping to get new customers that previously they weren't speaking to. It's strength, it's bar, it's stretching, it's all kinds of things. Let me ask you this question. If I am the owner of a Peloton bike, mm -hmm. which I am, and I subscribe to their monthly uh, plan mm -hmm. at $44.95, I believe that's the price right now. They are now going to have Peloton App Plus at $24 a month that seems like it's going to be, quote, frictionless with unlimited access to Peloton's vast library. Uh, and the tier includes all of the app's offerings and unlocks access to thousands of equipment-based cardio classes. Why would I continue to pay $44.95 if I can get the same thing for $24? And if if they are, they are actually offering essentially what I get for $44 dollars for 24 and i don't get it i'm gonna cancel you so know you tell them that I mean, you make an excellent point because it's totally true you can pay 44 dollars a month with the bike and have all of that but now you can pay 24 dollars a month and still be able to do those awesome classes that everybody loves the cycling classes the tread classes and you know so customers who have shelled out for the bike already you're kind of out of luck, um, but great. new customers are going to be able to take advantage. No, wait, listen, it, it's never a great idea to alienate your existing customer base. No, I'm and thinking of Tesla. I bought a Tesla, exactly, then he cuts the price. Exactly. I buy, I, I, this is Matheson. The I buy the peak every time. <laughs> so what they should do, though, is really make sure that the people who love the bike and feel part of the community are not alienated by this move, which we don't even know if it will work. I mean, you could say $24 is a bargain, but maybe it's not. Maybe that's, maybe that's still prices out a lot of people. You know, absolutely. And, and this kind of space sees a lot of churn as is. And I spoke with some Peloton users for this story. And a lot of them were like, you know, Peloton was like a club. And now everybody yeah. can get into the club. Yeah. You know, the brand isn't, I asked them, I was like, are you concerned about brand dilution? And they said, look, this is how Peloton has always been. And now Peloton inside is now Peloton on the outside. And what's the idea that you can take the Peloton classes to the gym on your phone? In other words, you would take your phone into the gym and follow my favorite instructor. And I, I, look, I love the product. I, it's, it's a fantastic product. Uh, you take your, your favorite instructor and do the workout there in the gym. Is that the yeah? That's exactly the idea. You know, before Peloton was always seen as anti-gym. Gym was an existential threat to their business. But they realized that's holding them back. I mean, the shares speak for themselves. The revenue speaks for themselves. The company is not what it once was. Mm -hmm. So they need to kind of bring other people in, find more use cases for this. So with the gym app, you can, or with the gym function in the app, if you can set up a custom workout. You can be at the gym. You know, a lot of people don't know what to do with the gym. Yeah. They're there. They're overwhelmed. Um, so, the, so the app will give you a custom workout that you can follow along while you're there. Very interesting. All right. I don't know. It's a new day for Peloton. I guess we'll see how it works Gabrielle, out. Thank you very much. <laughs> My pleasure. It. Thank you. All right. So that's something different, man. Uh, like I said, Peloton is like six dollars and eighty something cents a share. Um, you know, I I see this as being potentially good for them. Um, it can definitely put them in a new space since. They were branding to be like a fitness company now or integrating into being a fitness company. So if you were an investor and you knew all the things about Peloton before and now we're here and they're here with this information, what would you do as an investor? I see a little potential, a little potential. Uh, it, it needs to roll out first and see how, you know, the market reacts to it, especially in the economic environment that we're in. Um, 
Uh, I still think it still caters to uh, the upper class a little bit, even though, even though everybody at every class is being hit by inflation. Um, the free option really helps them too. So we'll see how it benefits. I think I might try to jump in, you know, I'll do my, you know, my analysis on it, do my research, you know, and find, find where's a good price. Peloton has been going down and, and share price for the last two years. So three years, actually. So, you know, 2020 was, you know, the hiatus, the, you know, parabolic moves running up in price in 2021, 2022, uh, reset, you know. So now we're here at $6.83 a share. Um, it's an option. It's an option. So, you know, that's what I have to say about it. That's my commentary. Uh, I, I, for one, I don't have a Peloton bike or hardware. Um, I go to the gym regularly. Um, maybe it's a benefit. Maybe not. The fact that they open it up to you taking it to the gym now, that could be seen as a benefit. Um, I, it's an opportunity. So we'll see. I'm going to map out some charts. Matter of fact, let me pull it up right now. And we can look at the chart on it. And let's do, okay, we'll do it on the daily. Yes, it's, it's been it's been downtrending for a while now. Y'all can see that. And you can see the chart. You probably can't see it clearly, but you can see the trend. So that's where we at with that. But uh, that's it, y'all. I made enough content for today. I'm tired. Get to sleep. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace, power, and profit. Follow all my social medias at Wall Street Logic on IG and Facebook. Uh, at Cross Sneakers on IG and at Facebook. Thank you for watching.